Hello there boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen and whatever you identify as. And welcome back to yet another video on the channel. You excited? Yes, I am. Because this is the first tier list video on this channel. Yep, we're going to make a tier list. Now, we're today making a tier list of KSI, the man, the myth, the legend, boxer, everything. <laughs> KSI's uh, uh, second record all over the place. Now, I actually did make a full album review for this, but because of a few reasons, it won't be coming out anytime soon. And you know, even though I said KSI, the man, the myth, the blah, 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 I, I didn't nice him. I didn't just give him a really high score just like that, okay? I, 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 did, I, did, I hated some of the songs on this album as well. And there are some that I thought were just trash, right? Like worse than the tune. <laughs> uh, Sidemen fans will get that reference. You know, you're the worst on the tune. But yeah. So let me show you guys what we got here. We got we got a nice a nice setup. Okay. So let me show you guys the setup we've got over here. So on top, we got favorites. Now remember, everything that I say in this video is my opinion. All right. My opinion. Just what I feel about them. You might feel differently. Just tell me in the comments. Okay. So my favorites favorites you know from the album next you got pretty good pretty good third just solid solid you know it's 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 not bad yet but it's not really my thing but i respect it next you got at least it isn't trash like it's just it's just bearable like there's something that saved it from being with the last one worst on the record yeah, so let's let's get let's hop into this. So first we got ooh, we got we're starting off with one of the better tracks. Uh Don't Play featuring Anne Marie. Now Anne Marie, okay, big feature as well. Anne Marie, digital farm animals. Where do I put this? You know what? I really like J this is, this is when I first heard JJ singing slash rapping at the same time. So I'll leave this in um pretty good i like digital farm animals this production as well on this you know so yeah we'll leave it there so next we got flash it now to be honest with you i don't remember what flash it sounds like so i'll just listen to it again and get back to you guys all right you guys i went back and listened to flash it again featuring the rico love so rico loves but i don't like it at all it's generic right? it's very very simple flow wise and he, he can't really sing it just order to it sounds like something a uk drill very uk drill but also afrobeat yeah this but jj's verse i really liked it so this is gonna go on at least it isn't trash right it just passed because of jj's verse um yeah so you know what JJ's the way his rapping sounds very similar to how he did on Swerve, you know? Yeah. So next we got Gang Gang, blah 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 Gang Gang. So this song <laughs> why am I singing? Jeez. So this song uh, this was this is my first time listening to that guy, Dino, D1NO, something like that. He must say he's pretty dang talented, you know. He, he can sing. He can sing, it's not bad at all. And uh what do I say? It's pretty good compared to people others on this uh, on this like in um you know some of the other smaller features he had this guy is pretty it is the best out of that lot you know what i mean so gang gang uh um then next uh i, I like uh this j1's rapping on this i did not like it at all on swerve but i really liked it on this when the three of them rap it sounds like how it was in Houdini with uh, Swamzy. Instead of Swamzy, there's D1, you know. Instead of JJ, there's well, this JJ. Instead of Tiome, we got J1. So this gets a uh, pretty good. A pretty good, yeah. No, I don't know. It's somewhere between. I'll probably put this at the end of pretty good. You know what I mean? And next, you got Holiday, you know, a proper singing, singing pop song. Uh, this. It, the melodies are pretty simple. They get kind of repetitive, but he's he is hitting those notes. Very less auto tune or effects compared to some of the other songs on this record. Um, the instrumental is pretty simple, an acoustic guitar. Yeah, and the 
the drums the percussion is also pretty solid and uh, not, nothing really new or something that i'll really remember for a long time although it's i like the vibe the song is very positive vibes and you know it's gonna make you sort of smile for me holiday goes in solid yeah oh boy next madness this is one of the tracks that i like 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 first of all that instrumental that piano that plays again again over oh, that that just sounds so good i love it whichever of the producers played that great job you guys executed that perfectly and jj's jj's word um ksi's word play in this his feel with which is delivering his lines his flow everything flow is kind of simple but it hits it's a hit hard flow you know what i mean that's what i like to call it madness uh madness gets a uh, pretty good yep it's gonna get there pretty good next you got no pressure no pressure you know what no pressure is the instrumental of no pressure i love it the jj singing as well is really nice you know it gives you jamaican vibes hanging out with all of the local bunde in jamaica by the beach so my, that, that that was a horrible accent I'm, i'm really sorry to any jamaicans watching this that's the vibes it gives i really like the instrumental and the, the synth sound they play again again to build tension and release i like that as well it was this really good so this gets a uh, solid not i like it more than holiday yeah, i live here oh boy we got no time eh this is this this thing got was popping off on tiktok i don't use tiktok a lot but when i did i just checked how well jj songs doing on the app i don't really care about such things but you know it's good to check right if the songs are being liked by the people so no time is one of the really catchy catchy uh, one thing about it is i don't really like is um that this was let's this will be it's one we will uh, not really listen to this again it is a very tiktoky made for tiktok or sort of thing that's not something i really liked Like there's nothing else in the song that I was listening. No, you know what? Yeah, the song is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, you know what? I'm. Oh man, what can I do? Ah, uh, this is so hard. You know what? Let's keep it over. And let's keep madness there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Next you got number 2. Boy, I must just be honest with you guys. I do not like this at all. I know, I'll tell you what I don't like at all. I did not like Future's voice at all. It is that normal really autotune mumbleish sort of thing. I did not like that at all. JJ's voice I did not like it all the first time. I like it a little more now, but really it's not there. But yo, 21 Savage's voice voice on this is what really just saves this. and uh, the more i've been listening to it the more i like it so this gets uh, you know what 21 savage saved it yeah 21 savage saved it so yeah that's that and uh, let's see what's next oh we got patience you guys patience first of all apology the delivery of their verse too good just too too good Uh, that was just too good man that shows why he is on top of the rap game his execution is perfect and it was such an awesome way to start things off next young young blood yo young blood my boy bro we we in this channel we into that punk revival stuff man young blood is also too good and i really liked his you can see why he and borgi are big stars in the whole music thing and uh, next bro the instruments man i loved it those those 80s inspired synths and the drums as well are so 80s inspired and boy who's playing that bass that thing was that thing was groovy like really groovy so you know what this is one of the favorites man i don't know why nobody is talking about this song this song is really really good next you got really love i like really love um very standard but catchy hook from digital farm animals really shows off how good his range is as a singer yeah um jj's verse is really really good it's it's like his verse on lighter i really liked it 
and uh, the instruments of course is my boy Dig digital farm animals jeez yo dfa has got two songs on this and he even produced another songs man that's Chris pretty cool you know so really love gets uh it gets a pretty good yeah Next, we got a uh, rent free. I don't remember what rent free sounds like. Okay, guys, so rent free, I went and listened to that. Uh, Gracie's hook, I did not like at all. Yeah, I don't like that. The accent is so heavy on that. It seems almost forced. Uh, she can't really sing that. It's very, very visibly being auto tuned a lot. And uh, so it's gonna be on this. It's gonna have written another song on at least it isn't trash. Right, because JJS is pretty simple, but nothing really memorable in he could work, nothing really notable. He can work a lot much more on that, but yeah, that's what it gets. Rent free is a, at least it isn't trash. You know what? It's not better than these tracks now. Next, we got Silly Feet Bugsy Malone. <sighs> not a big fan of this one either, you know, nothing really impressed me from both of them, you know. Not really my jam. So, uh, Silly by Bugsy Malone is gonna have to sit on. You know what? Wait, let me just listen to it again. Like all these songs that I barely even remember, it's for a reason. It's because they actually were not good. Oh shit, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just heard Silly again. It's not what I thought it was. Yeah, Silly, I, I, I like it, I like it. It's just, it's just one of those really UK grime songs in this. Um, I'm not a pretty good, definitely not there. Um, how much do I give Silly? Where do I give Silly? I'm gonna give Silly a solid. There are some pretty good bars on this. Next, Sleeping with the Enemy, Feet SX. I do not care what you guys say. This song is the worst on the record. Nah, I'm just playing, y'all. This is my favorite. I know nobody's talking about this. And this on YouTube, it only got 13k views. Really? You can do my boy SX like that? Now I know. I know, I think I know why this is not getting a lot of traction. Because it's not just another catchy banger. That's made to to go viral, like like let's say no time or something like that. This is a really a song where JJ is actually using the storytelling element of rap really well. And the chord progression sounds like something Cave Town would have written. Yeah, cha. Just five minutes, huh? Chord progression sounds like something Cave Town would have written. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, the instrumentation is seems quite simple. That's cause SX really, cause you hear first hear the cha 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 cha. You got that little key piano thing playing. After that, you hear in SX SX part the the keys get really really cling and thinning. It changes to a completely different style. Then we got actually have so many pads and airy vocals, and then the J yeah. Uh, uh, SX splashes just the proper amount of reverb on his part to make it sound somewhat like an Imagine Dragons, but I don't like Imagine Dragons, but I like SX. If everybody's like, who, why is he talking about an artist splashing reverb? That's because SX is the one that produced this same thing with Down Like That. You know, every single one of JJ's albums should have one song that's with SX. SX has to be one of the features and it should be produced by SX, dude. SX produces so well. And JJ also is really storytelling, uh, storytelling really well. He's talking about his time when he was just a teenager, telling his parents that he's quitting school, you know. Um, and now he, because of that, he has a voice. And yeah, I really like it. It's it. I really, really connect and feel with this as well, you know. That's why it's sitting there. So let's see. Next, you got Swerve. Uh, J One's verse. The first time you hear it, it's you can see why it's kind of catchy to some people. Then it just gets plain boring. Because again and again, it's like Swerve. Okay, Swerve. Okay, Swerve. Okay, Swerve. Okay. Somebody take that and loop that like twenty times. But yo, JJ saved this track. He's the best on it. He really, he really just saved it. Yeah, he's the reason this track will go on solid. It's better than silly. 
definitely. And yeah, we got only two more songs now. I see, I see. We got the moment. I'm gonna be honest. First and heard it, I was like, yeah, this is the worst. And really, I still actually don't like it at all. You know, I actually don't like the moment at all. Like, did I know you really hyped this? But what did save it is your normal rap verse. Your singing was really a little overproduced, and I did not like it at all. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna be honest with you all. You know what? I don't want to put it there because there is a kind of fun verse. You know what? Rent free. I'm not saying it's like trash. It. I don't like it. You know what? What sits over here? Yeah. Uh, rent free and flash it are gonna sit. You know what? You know what? This is a good verse. Yeah. Wait, shit. No, you ain't sitting there, boy. The moment, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, JJ, but you're gonna have to sit over here. But rent free was worse than moment. I don't know. She, what do I do? <laughs> like I don't like those two songs at all. I don't know. I know you, a lot of you guys like moment, but you know, it's just not my vibe at all. I appreciate your opinion. I respect it, but it's not my thing. And finally, we got you. Uh, you, I like the singing. I like the instruments. You know, you got that per percussive, but some sort of synth sounds like some percussion instrument. It goes tum, 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 tum. This really takes me back to like 2015 and 2016 ADM, but pop songs. This is what it reminds me of. I like the lyric video as well for this. So uh, this gets uh, solid. Yeah, it's just. Uh, competition with it's pretty almost pretty much as good as holiday for me so let's see okay yeah i know what i think this is how i felt about that you know what uh i think there's a little too many pretty goods yeah um i think no time will be over here Yeah, I like I like really like JJ's falsettos and the way he sings on no time, but it's gonna have to sit in solid. Yeah, this is pretty much how I uh, how I felt about the album. Two one or two songs that I really, really loved and really, really like. Um four songs that are pretty good. I jam, that's my jam. Solid. These songs I like, but not enough to be on my playlist. You know what I mean? But I really I respect I respect it. And then these two, uh, which are just saved from being trash, yeah. And two that I did not like at all. So yeah, guys, that's it from me. Tell me what your opinions on the song are down in the comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.